Bakugan is usually played with two people, but it can also be played with three or four people. It's actually very simple to add more players. The same rules you use in a two-player game apply. It's just the setup that's different. For a three-person game, set up your Bakugan game like this. As always, the youngest player goes first, and then the players take turns in a clockwise order. In other words, the person to their left goes next. When the players place their gate cards into the field, it's done like this. Player number one places his card as far away from himself as he can. Player number two places his card as far away from himself as he can, with the corner of his card touching player number one's card. Player number three places his card as far away from himself as he can, with the corners of his card touching player number one and player number two's cards. It should create a triangle shape in the middle. And remember, no new gate cards are introduced into the battlefield until all gate cards are used. For a four-person game, do this. Again, when placing the gate cards in the middle of the battlefield, each player's card goes as far away from him as it can. Then play starts with the youngest person and then moves to the left after that. The big game. So, now you've played Bakugan for a while and you're ready to take your game to the next level. You, my friend, are ready for the big game. In this game, you double your force. Instead of starting with three Bakugan, double it to six Bakugan. Instead of starting with three ability cards, one red, one blue, and one green, double that. Two red, two blue, and two green, equaling six ability cards. And three gate cards won't cut it either. Make that two silver, two copper, and two gold, equaling six gate cards. And if you've included a trap into your Bakugan game, double that too. Two trap. When playing the big game, remember that you can't have two of exactly the same Bakugan, gate cards, or ability cards. If two Bakugan look the same, but have different G-Power numbers printed on them, they are not exactly the same, so you can use them both. When you start the big game, each player sets two gate cards in the playing field like this. And there's one more big game difference. Everything is doubled, right? So instead of needing three gate cards in your used pile to win, you need six. Some cards are even better in the big game like this one. The triangle of power ability card is good in a regular game, but can be monstrous in a big game, as there are twice as many Bakugan in the game. This card's bonus can reach a whopping plus 500 G power in the big game.